Hey, Linear. Hi, Brad. I wish our show started at midnight. I mean, I guess it does on the East Coast, but that'd be just the best thing ever for that thing that guy said. Oh, man, there's... I forgot that whole clip existed at the beginning of our show. <laughs> it was worth it just for that. That's true. Um, so he hasn't called yet tonight, like, Has last week. since last week? No, he hasn't called me that I've noticed on Skype. I leave Skype running, like, 24-7, and he hasn't... He hasn't called me at all since the show was over last week. So I think he yeah, must... I think the problem is that uh, he thinks he got you good. <laughs> Are you saying I need to call him? him <laughs> I think you need to call him. <laughs> huh. Our, uh, how do I add people to the conference? <laughs> it won't let me. It's every week. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Can anybody call the show right now? Because... It's not letting me add people to the conference. Maybe you should um, tell them the number so we can call in. Oh, yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to call the show, the number is 505-796-4020 or phonelosers.org. Somebody in the chat room, somebody in the chat room should tell us if it's going straight to voicemail or not. Uh, yeah. Skunkwork says we can't call the show. I think it's because of the way you're calling in. I'm going to blame you for all of this. So, Jesus Christ. This isn't going to be much of a fun show if people can't call in. So, um, yeah, I guess. I can switch. I can, uh, we can take a short break and I'll be back on the other, the normal way I call in. We're going to take a short break and play the most amazing song ever made. Oh, no. Somebody's calling in, in now. Skunkworks is a big liar. What an idiot. Hey, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania! Didn't Pennsylvania do this to me last week? They called and just didn't say anything? I think it, I think it's that guy. He found out how to spoof phone numbers. Could be. Got your number. He's fucking with me. He's trying to pretend he's Google East. <laughs> Alright, now Somebody it's... Somebody else call so we can see if that was a fluke or not. No, it seems to be working now. Like, I can add people, so... Alright, so are we going to call that guy now? Yeah... And I don't know if he'll pick up, or the sheriff that's there 24-7 monitoring his phone calls will pick up. Oh, John Johnson? <laughs> Something like that. The oh. number you dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. There's no way. <laughs> you must have fucked up dialing. <laughs> I mean, he was so adamant about, like, you know, why should I change my number? They're the ones that made the mistake. There's no way. <laughs> Try it again. Sure, you got the number right. The number you dialed is not in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you're fucking around. There's no way you changed his number. <laughs> and the funny thing is, though, like after I did the prank to him on April first, he called me back from his Metro PCS cell phone number, which I didn't write down, but I'm sure it's later. It's in my log somewhere. Well. It sounds like we have an assignment to do while we uh, let everyone listen to the best song ever. <laughs> uh, do you know what the best song ever is? You didn't tell me what the best song ever is, but I'm assuming it's We Are Devo. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You're wrong. Oh, damn it. It, it. It's it's the Magnet song by ICP. It's a, it's a song about science. and. Oh, my God. Oh, I heard that. It is the best song ever. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play that. How the fuck do they work? <laughs> You see, Mike, we got a theory. Miles. Hi, who's this? It's, uh, shit, it's Shit Pickle. Oh, hey, Shit Pickle. I was just wondering, how, how do magnets work? <laughs> I don't know. Don't trust the scientists, though. They're a bunch of liars. <laughs> what, about, what about Bill Nye? What, what's that? What, what about Bill Nye? He, he's not full of shit. I don't know. He's a scientist. I think he's lying and getting me pissed. Do you, do you classify Beekman as a scientist? Um, sort of, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, he hangs out with a giant rat. Yeah, he had a rat, so, rat so I'd trust him. 
any guy who hangs out with a guy in a, in a rat costume has got to be like totally legit. <laughs> I trust Same him. The guy who runs like a, a a web show about you know prank calling people. I think I trust him more than Shaggy Two Dope. <laughs> and Violent J. <laughs> well, no, Violent J. I can trust him, but. Hey, hey Brad. Yeah, Violent J. Hey, is Brad. solid. Brad. What? Brad. What? Brad. What? He did that and hung up on me. Man, we got you. Oh, we picked up on you earlier and you wouldn't talk to us. Well, I, I, you know, my microphone was fucked up. What am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? I can't be ready. You know what I mean? You gotta wait until you're ready to pick up. You need to, you need to do test calls like we do. What? C- call up Domino's or old or old people. You know, I'm trying to call old people, but no one will give me any of their damn numbers. Well, you can't call Courthouse Guy anymore, because he changed his number. Well, we'll have to try and find that number. He let the system beat him. I need I need that number right now. No, nope. there is no system. The system isn't real. Everybody knows this. The system's lying and getting you pissed. I run the system. So who are you? I can't tell you. It's, it's needed no information. Okay. And if I really told you who I was... You might you might begin to to uh, harass me over IRC. You don't want that. So, yeah, so I definitely don't want that. No, so. it's uh, it's web dog. Oh okay. <clears throat> so instead you call yeah, me with I'm your not... unblocked phone number. <laughs> huh? So instead you call me with your unblocked phone number. I don't I, I don't know I have I have two I, I have like a bunch of phone numbers because I'm that guy. No. Now I just keep paying the bills because I'm stupid. I see. So I just I just uh, a nerdite. I uh, I see I see I see him man I see him. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Peace. Fine. Fascinating. What a dick. No, I wasn't really gonna hang up. Oh. I'm not really gonna hang up. I'm kind of obsessed. Fall, winter, or spring. I'm with the green. What's up? Just doing a show here. <laughs> is that you knocking the beer cans everywhere, or is that linear? What? That me. We just heard a lot of crashing around and stuff. Okay. It's a she, if I could guess who she is, a pizza toppy. Yes, yes, we are the best rappers in the world. Yes, we're the best rappers. Hey, how you doing? Great. How are you? Well, I'm doing okay. I'm riding around in a cab, of course. You know, the guy I'm going to try to speak a little bit faster than I normally do. So people don't accuse me of being drunk or high or something like that. I listened to my voice like two weeks ago, and God, do I sound like this all the time? (laughs) Pretty much. You sound pretty normal tonight, but usually you sound just completely high. Uh, Completely high? (laughs) Yeah, it's a little bit weird to do this job here. You you could actually start your own little cab company in your little town. Might be good. Are are you listening to the show from your cab right now? Yes, I am. Okay, because sometimes you don't, and it confuses me. Right, well, well, I is. I'm listening to a cab. This is a cab show right now in a cab. As long as I don't do you make call, your cust- hang out. What? Do you make your customers listen to the show? Um, well, I could. I could. I've got plenty of, of it on disc. I could actually, you know. But, you know, the ones that come back from the bar, they don't mind. I could be uh, playing Norwegian death metal, and they wouldn't mind at all. I think you should start doing you know, that and give them like PLA stickers and and cacti radio business cards. If I could only like us, if I could send some, I I I, I promote like that. Sure. <laughs> okay, give me your address. Oh, by the way, this message is uh, this message this has been brought to you by this is a recording dot com and touchtone tunes dot com. Holy shit! Jen just said hi, legend. Holy shit. <laughs> and and she said she she, sa- did. she said it sounds like you're on meth right now. Oh no! She's being kind of a bitch. I think you might want to retract your sponsorship. Uh, okay. The, the sponsorship for this message has been retracted. Do not visit this is a recording dot com and do not visit uh, touchtone tunes dot com. Especially this is oh, recording dot com. Oh, legend is on meth. Oh, now that's it. If I'm slow and laid back, I'm high or drunk. If I'm speed up at normal speed, I'm on meth. Okay, I see how that works. <laughs> Sounds right to me. Yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, it's nice to be in love. 
or loved or something like that. I don't know. Okay. So you're not going to like. All get, right. Well, you're, you're sitting there like IRCing and stuff while you drive around in, in your taxi cab. That's right. <laughs> I'm reporting you. That is and, and they have they have laws against texting here, so I don't text. I I, 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 I IRC. They don't have anything on the books about that. I think that's safer because you know you can type without looking a lot easier than texting. Yeah. I can drive without looking. Sometimes going up and down US-19, that's the best thing to do. You just use the force. Yeah. So, uh, when are I going to get, like, a box full of stickers so I can, like, plaster my town? Yeah, like, email me or message me or whatever and tell me your address, because I don't think... I don't know, you move a lot, don't you? (laughs) I used to have your address. Yeah, that's it. You know, to get closer to my uh, math connection. My math connection. Yeah. 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 What a lovely drug it is. Oh, my God. Second only to crack. Well, I'm hanging I up on you so you can people. hurry up and send me your address. I'll send you my address. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Lanier. Yep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So how are we uh, doing on finding that guy's uh, mobile? Oh, I can't do that right now. I have I don't even know where to start looking. Oh, you're so irresponsible. <laughs> uh, we're on chat roulette tonight. Whoever finds me on chat roulette, um, you know, they can, like, you know, tell me. I found you on chat roulette. Right now I'm staring at three crotches simultaneously. It's awesome. Are you giving away a prize to someone who finds you on chat roulette tonight? Yeah, I guess. No one will find me. I, I think there must be just like millions on chat roulette and nobody can ever find me. Except the people with the crotches. Your dick's so recognizable. <laughs> Hello? Hey Hi. there. Hi. Not not X Mania. You struggle with my name every time. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to pronounce. Is it really? I don't know. It's the, it's the letters are small, and I'm old, and I can't see very good. The screen's all the way over there. You okay, know. Then. Is there anybody calling on the on the on the regular phone, the non Skype phone? Yeah, there's two people calling right now. Is it you? No. Oh, is it? Um, did you set up an ad or something? No. There's people from Arizona calling. Well, it's too bad for them. I think this guy wants you to pick it up. Why are you asking me? You're up to something. I am up to something, in fact. Okay, I just picked up two landline calls. Arizona and Oregon. Hi, Brad. Hi. What's your your role in all this? Can you hear me clicking and typing there? I'm calling about the Pokemon card. What's your role in all this? Every, everyone tell me what your role is in all this. I don't know them. They're unrelated in this plot. You can talk to them however you'd like. I was a nice person once. Who do you work for? Hello? Hi, Chicago beer knocking over person. There he is. Hello? Hi. Hey there. Hi, Hello? Chris. There's seven people on now. How's it going? All of them are listening to the radio. What? Okay. <laughs> say something entertaining. Uh, All at once. Everyone say something. Mr. Carter. Yes. I have a problem with you calling my house at all hours of night. I'm sorry. Waking up my, you're waking up my mom. Can you tell me which person this is? I call lots of people at all hours of the night. This is Acid Head. Oh. I'm calling for my Arizona number this time. Uh, got a funny story for you. I'm at work today. My phone rings. So and my it's... Google Voice line is a 561 area code number. I'm like shitting my pants. <laughs> Was it him? No, it's a freaking telemarketer trying to sell me debt settlement. 
uh, insurance or something. That old man would be pretty awesome if he managed to call you. I thought it would be pretty interesting if it was him. I scrambled to uh, my Google Voice to see what the voicemail was. Because, whoa, well, five six one. That, that's the same area. Pretty Nobody else lives in five six one except that old guy. Hey, he's not old. Remember? Oh yeah, he's only fifty nine. I looked him up. He's fifty nine years old, but that's not old. Wow, he he looks pretty old for fifty nine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't be calling him old. That offends him. Brad, you're almost 59, aren't you? I'm close. He's not going to live to 59. Yeah, that's the difference between me and that old guy. <laughs> you have hair. For it. <laughs> I wonder if I hung up on Linear. That's my, that's my interesting no, I'm story. Uh, Hi, Linear. one called me today. Oh. Hi, Linear. How are you today? That's a hilarious story. Any Pokemon calls? Um, not so far. I had two calls from Arizona, no. but uh. Well, one of them was me. Ah, yeah. The other one hung up. I picked up at the same time. They couldn't handle your story, yeah. apparently. I put uh Pokemon cards up again. So, seeing how that was so popular last week. Oh, uh, was it in Arizona? Yes. Okay. Always in Arizona. I'll pick. Good times in Arizona. Cause we're the same. We're the same time zone as you guys right now. You are. There's no daylight I savings. I thought you were only in the. I thought there was only in the summer. You were the same time zone as us. Arizona doesn't change the time. So whenever they, whenever they fall back to daylight savings, where California time, when they go forward, what mountain central or what mountain standard time? I see. Kind of weird. I was not aware of that. Weird. I thought I think Indiana is the other state that it doesn't uh, change time. Zones. Yeah, I knew Indiana did that because I used to live there, and I didn't know but they isn't didn't. Isn't it only like isn't it only certain parts of Indiana, or like one part of Indiana doesn't change or something? I thought it was the whole state. I, I used to. Live, I, I think there's. I, I lived like there. A small like small sliver of the state that's like fuck it, we're not following the rest of the state. Ah, uh, yeah, I lived in that sliver, and it made me late for work because I assumed it was daylight savings or whatever, and. I was an hour late <laughs> because I didn't understand their customs. Were you working at AutoZone at the time? Yeah, yeah, that's when I made all those calls or received oh, all those okay. calls. I'm sure Pretty interesting that. stuff there. Hey, uh, do you know anything about cell phone cloning, Mr. Carter, and linear? No. Illegal. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure. I knew about cell phone cloning in the oh, 90s, people. but now I'm old and. I don't think it's even possible anymore, is it? It's, it's yeah. hard. Like like with digital, I just, I just thought it was impossible now. No, it's, it's more complex. Possible. It's just really, really hard to do. But I if we could get Frank to call in, he could tell you all about uh, it. Was telling me that his cell phone was cloned, and I'm like, how, how's that possible? It can be done, but I think I'll have to ask the phone losers since they are losers. Yeah, we don't know anything about phones here. I know I would love to clone my cell phone just for the hell of it. Like, just to have an extension phone? That would be cool. Fractal, call us! I'm going to hang up on you so Fractal can call in. Hello, is this Fractal? Um, hi. Are you um, getting rid of your Pokemon cards? Yeah. Um, do you still have them? Yeah, but I'm not going to give them to you because you sound like just somebody who just calls every little ad you see that has something for free, and just, you know you just want like a handout. You just want to just take, take, take. You never want to give anything. It's for my daughter. You're one of those people. You don't even have a daughter. You're so full of shit. I can't believe you're trying to trick oh, me. You are a fucking prick. At least I don't. She hung up. <laughs> what a bitch! I know. What the hell? Attitude problems. When I have to choose, though, I like to eat meat. Hello. Hello. You can't hang up on me. That's a violation of federal law. I would never do that to you. Yeah, it's actually yeah. It just passed. It's part of the Anti Skunk Works Harassment Act of 2010. I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. So, have you heard about ACTA, the Anti Counterfeiting Trade Agreement? No. Yeah, it is basically the worst fearness to quote, you know, SoCal lingo, 
to ever hit the internet. Basically, it would criminalize file sharing. It would allow your ISP to pull the plug on you and ban you from the internet for suspected illegal file sharing. There is no burden of proof. And on top of that, it would open up a whole new wave of civil and criminal lawsuits. So basically, it sucks end of the internet. Hmm. Why don't you th- Why don't you just pay for your software? Um, well, because software is extremely expensive, especially when you're a college student. Why don't you get a job? Yeah, get a job. You're going to be an engineer. Well, you you're going to make lots of money. Real, well, you see, there's sort of a chicken-egg problem because, uh, you know, a job generally requires a college degree in this economy. I don't know about that. Why don't you just, like, not need re- really expensive software? Well, you know... That sort of happens, but, you know, if you're smart, you're going to need something like Mathematica Just if you're doing integral calculus. And speaking of integral calculus, I bet neither of you can find the cotangent, the, the integral of the cotangent of 5x. What's a cotangent? Uh, cotangent? Why would you need to know that? Cotangent is the inverse of tangent. What, what you know, good does that knowledge do you? <laughs> uh, actually, frankly, completely none except passing the uh, calculus to. See... Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, the correct answer would be one fifth times the logarithm of sine of five x. Okay. You guys didn't know it, so you failed. I agree. You're and smarter than me. That doesn't answer why we would need to know that. <laughs> well, you need to know it to pass calculus two, let alone to get an A in calculus two, which is uh, exactly what I'm. Doing. Uh, the simple answer to that is to not take calculus. <laughs> Just be a loser all well, your life exactly. and don't don't go to school, and th- then they don't need yeah, to know well, that. How are, you, how are you going to get a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering without taking calculus? Oh, I didn't think of that. Don't. I mean, there's an alternative to that, too. Well, how are you going to do anything meaningful with your life without a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering? I mean, you know... See, there's your problem. You're trying to do something meaningful with your life. Well, Well, not necessarily meaningful in, you know, the larger point of view, but... You drop out loser like me. Power and blow shit up for fun. That's um, the goal of getting a BS and double E. I blow shit up all the time, and I'm retarded. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you'd talk about phones more. But heck, you know, if you're not going to talk about phones, you can talk about integral calculus. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, totally. In fact, you should just, instead of calling this the phone show, you can call it the integral show with Stephen Wolfram and Gottfried Leibniz. Okay. It's a deal. Yeah, <laughs> Starting next week. Cool. The integral show with Stephen Wolfram and Gottfried Leibniz. That would totally rule. All right. Next week. Yeah. That's the name of the show. People. I was actually wondering on the phone show, how many phones have you shown over the course of a phone show now? It seems like you're creeping up on uh, around 11 months, and I haven't seen you show so much as one phone on the phone show. You're just not watching the right chat, I get chat roulette windows. What you're doing is using a clever pun. Oh, really? Well, I think what you're you doing got- is uh, false advertising. You know, you're calling this the phone show, but you should really call it a... Uh, you should call well, it I mean, to make you feel shit hour. Please don't sue us because we're already getting sued. Any, by the way. Make, we can give you your money back if you'd like. <laughs> totally, that would uh, that would completely own. You know, I've spent so much money on the phone show now, and I just I feel like it's been a total waste. I haven't gotten to see any phones in the phone show. All right, we'll send you a check. Okay, my address uh, again. If you don't have it on file, it's three one three three seven Hackmore Drive in. The- Exception, I can now drink you and you and you and you. Oh, I'm sorry, who's this? Is this Chris? Yeah, this is Chris Tompkinson. Yeah, I was calling about uh, some Pokemon cards. You were? When? Yeah. When were you doing this? Oh, uh, I just called right now. Oh, you just did? Oh, so. So you are calling. Uh, I it's not that you were. You still had them, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have those. Uh, all right. They're not real. Uh-oh. Like it's a fake ad. Oh, right on. I'm getting people to call me. Normally, I'm a telemarketer, but if I can get people to call me, Uh-oh. then I can sell them Amway. Oh. Would you like to buy Amway? With Amway. It's like a thing that telemarketers do, I think. Oh, so you buy into this little pyramid scheme and then you oh shit you figured it out 
it's not going to work on you. Don't tell anyone. Is that what it is for real? Yeah, it's kind of like a pyramid. We don't like to call it a pyramid scheme. We like to call it a triangle opportunity. They call it a triangle of opportunity. <laughs> yep. Are you interested? That's funny. Thanks. No, I, I, I think I stole that. that from The Simpsons. It's not anything I just yeah. came up with on my own. That's pretty funny, though. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Have a nice night. You too. He was nice. He sure was angry. He didn't know my mom is kung fu. I'm the king of bird core. I invented it. If someone says otherwise, a Betty wreck. Okay, uh, we're gonna play voicemails now, cause, cause I have two voicemails to play. I hope they're good. They're always good. Uh, here's the first oh, one. Here. Oh wait, hold on. Around hey, calling from Kansas here. Uh, a couple things. One, if you could get rid of like one minority group in the world, you know, like Mexicans, Jews, Chinese, Polacks, you know, what would it be? And, uh, and, and second, like, have you guys like uh, called into that on the radio, the Love Line, uh, K Rock out of L.A. So, uh, back. I didn't understand the last part. I didn't understand any of that. Oh, if you could get uh, rid of there's a question about one particular type of minority. Yeah, if you could get, else. if you could get rid of one minority in the United States, which one would it be? Oh man, Canadians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, obviously. Yeah. What else would the answer be? Um. Yeah. Okay. And then there's one more voicemail. And this one... Okay, well, here, here let me play yeah, this. Yeah, Roy, this is Scott Dutton Hafer. I, I guess somebody called a church on me uh, a couple with, weeks uh, ago. I'm Coastal Community Fellowship, and we had an email that you would be moving into our area soon from where you are in New Mexico, and uh, just wanted to touch base with you and uh, kind of talk with you a little bit about our, about our church and... Uh, be happy to answer any questions you might have and uh, we uh, we received an email uh, that you had contacted our website and we're just checking so I'm going to call this guy right now he left a phone number <laughs> I don't know what to say to him now oh do we so did you do this or somebody did it for no, you so some, we don't even know what type of church it is somebody else did it to me or it was the wrong number it says his number's ringing. He's it's some church in um somewhere in um you know that one place, the OC, Orange County. Hi, you've reached Scott and Trudy. We can't come to the phone right now. Uh, what a dick. Can you in? Um, yeah. Huh? You should play his voicemail back to him. And uh, seeing how we <laughs> That'd show him. Okay. Wait, let me try his <laughs> church number here real quick. Oh wait. I'm screwing up everything as usual. Seven one four two eight nine two five eight three. Oops. Now everybody knows the church's number. I don't know if this is the church's number or his home number. I think the other one was his home number. Calling CCIS Insurance Services, specializing in health insurance plans. I can also offer you investments as a registered representative of Financial West Group. Please leave your name and number so I can return your call. Oh, that's weird. It's an insurance person. Insurance for God. Well, anyway, I'm not going to play the rest of this message. Church is a lot like insurance. That's true. All right, that was the voicemails. Insurance for your soul. Leave your own voicemails at that one number that we always give out. The 505 number. Or on phonelosers.org on, on Skype. Yeah. All right. <laughs> voicemails are always stupid. I'm going to call for a job. What kind of job? Uh, I figured I could be your guys' IT. Uh, fresh out of college and uh, can't get a job, so I figured uh, this is my this is my last resort. So I figured I'd call your guys' hotline up here. You need to call and, the uh, public ask. relations department. You're calling the wrong phone number. Right. I, I need that number. So if you, if you could get that to me. Sure, it's seven one four nine nine seven one two eight three. All right. So who who is that actually? If I call that number, uh, you'd want to ask for Douglas. Yeah. All, right, all right, I'm going to call him right now, and I'll call you guys right back. Okay. 
Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. I gave him the the church guy's number. I know. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I called your public relations hotline. Were they home? They sound, home? They sound pretty upset. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know what I don't know what to do. Did they you guys have an alternative phone number? At first, it was a fax machine, but now, I mean, who am I? Who who, who am I really calling? Wait, did, I don't. I don't they, told, did, they, they told me it wasn't a business. Are you serious? And, uh, did, I, just, I, I really need a job right now, and uh, yeah, and you guys gave me the wrong number. No, I didn't give you the wrong number. Did they really answer the phone? Yeah, they told me it wasn't. I got a recording of it. Yeah. I got a, yeah. Hello. 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 Wait, I'm, I'm calling them live. Hello. Hi. Is this Hello. A, is this the church lady? I'm sorry, someone gave me this number, man. Hello. Who this is? Hello. I'm not going to tell you who I am. This is not a business. This is a private phone. Um, would you have, know any reason why they uh, leave you this summer? I have no idea who you are or why you have this number. Stop calling. Is it, it, it 714 This is not a business. All right, all right, all right. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank I, you. I, I'll, I'll call again. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. So, uh, yeah, what, what was, I do? was that a business? That, that was. I think it was a business, man. I, I think we need to call them back, and I, I think uh, I think the, uh, they're lying. I, I think uh, I think someone should investigate into these people. I think they go around uh, uh, de- deceiving people. Uh, I'm, I'm I gonna, think that's what it is. Okay, I'm calling them right now. I'm I'm gonna let them know we're on to them. Right, we need to talk. We're on. All right, good, good. I'm, I'm very upset. It says it's ringing. Why do I hear birds? Birds. Hello? 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 Hi. Hello. Ma'am? What? Ma'am, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I don't know why you keep calling this number so late at night. I I just wanted to tell you, I'm I'm on to your little scam here, and I I don't appreciate you giving out your number and claiming it's a business, and that you're... Well, I never gave you my number to anybody. Your your husband, the pastor, gave it to me. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Isn't your husband a pastor? My husband is a pastor? No, he's an insurance agent. Oh, yeah. uh, Insurance. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's what you meant. You need to stop calling this number. No, he called me first. He left a message on my voicemail in New Mexico. My name's Chris Thompson. In New Mexico? Because I'm moving to the area soon. Oh, you're the gentleman that wanted to come to the Coastal Community Fellowship? Yeah, I want to run around on the beaches. And and rub. You want to run around on the beaches? Rub rub sand in my ass nipples. (laughs) Ass neck or something. I'm trying to quote Jerky Boys, but I'm failing. Anyway, I'm on your scam, lady. I'm sorry, the connection no. is very, very poor. You need to get your phone checked. You sound like shit, lady. <laughs> Are you still there? A pretty good jerky, boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, even though I fucked it all up. I can't she didn't get that it was a jerky, boys. Reference. Yeah, you'd think everyone would listen to the jerky, boys. You know, people that go to church and sell insurance. <laughs> I'm sorry those people misled you. Yeah, I'm very upset. I, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm, uh, I mean, someone told me to start a business, but if you guys need any work done, um, full, full service, 24 hours a day, just uh, give me a call back. Is what you need to do, you need to go to school, like Skunk Work said, and, and learn <laughs> learn a cosign. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Skunk Works is talking about because I just paid all this money for an education and people don't even know what the fuck my degree is. I have a pretty good job and I didn't go to college. Yeah, it's best to just drop out as soon as possible and and get on with your life. That's what I tell everybody under the age of 18. Just if you go to college, make sure to drop out. That's what I tell my kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean anybody else's kids but mine. Kids are eight years old. I don't have kids, man. I, I raise kittens. I don't either. 
I race farm animals and shit. I'm gonna hang up on you because I can't stand the echo that happens when I talk to you. Talk to you. All right. Have a good Have a good day, man. You too. Good, goodbye. Uh, this this episode is brought to you by um, this this new music that I'm listening to. It's called Emergency Pizza Party, and you can listen to their music at emergencypizzaparty.com. But don't pay for their albums. Download them from BitTorrent. Yeah, yeah, except for that song. Four out of five dentists recommend daily use of Emergency Pizza Party to help eliminate high car insurance prices and stop global warming. Remember, use only as directed. In case of accidental overdose, Consult a physician or poison control immediately. Hi. Hi, Roxy. I'm looking for answers. Do you have them? Yes. They're at emergency what emergency pizza party dot com. Life? What? What is the purpose of my life? I don't know. I give up. Don't eat. I, I what are you guys doing tonight? I suggest suicide. We have a church that we have a church we can refer you to. Yeah, you want to call the church? Sure, they might have the answer. I have their home phone number. Okay. Okay, hold on. You have to do the talking, Roxy. Yeah, we can't talk. She knows. Oh. She doesn't like me. She's on to us. I'm pretty sure she's not going to pick up, though. So you're not going to get any answers like tonight. You. Oh, the church lady. <laughs> or insurance. Just ask yeah, her. You can talk about church or insurance. Oh, wait, is really no, like insurance okay. for your soul. It's ringing. Ring, ring. We can't hear it. It is for real. Hi, you've reached Scott and Judy. We can't come to the phone right now. I'll leave her a message. Leave a message. You leave her a message. So, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Hi, I'm just Hi. calling because I'm wondering what the purpose is in my life. And um, this guy told me that you don't take, take calls like this. Um, if you can, call me back. My number is, um, 505. Crap, I forgot it. What is it? 7964020. 505-7964020. I'm really confused. And I need some of God's guidance. Okay, I hung up. Oh my god, do you think she's going to call back? Probably. No. I'll forward you her message, whatever she tells you to do. I'm pretty sure she's... Okay, because I really need to know because I'm lost. I'm sure she's going to suggest suicide, though. Oh, did you watch Lost tonight? No, it's on right now. I can't. I can't watch it. Do you want me to tell you what happened? No. Well, okay. Why? Okay, so... Jen already told me most of it. So... Oh, okay. So Hugo's like hanging out at the. Um, she told me that the, that friend. Jack and Locke um, finally have sex. Mm, oh, no. Hugo Hugo's trying to talk to that skinny girl that um that died. That I don't know what she sees in him, but everyone's skinny to Hugo. Like, I mean, he's <laughs> I don't know. And so he's sitting there, and he's like. Why won't you talk to me? All these dead people talk to me all the time, and you won't. And then Michael shows up. Michael's like, dude, you're pathetic. And then, um, that's about all, really. And then, yeah, that's about it. You have to just watch it. I'm and then you go. I'll watch it tomorrow like, on Hulu. But she's just some crazy chick. Stupid, stupid Jessica she's won't come over anymore because she can't wait an hour to see it. So I just Can't have to wait. wait. An hour for what? I have to wait till tomorrow. Never mind. I'm just babbling. I don't know. I'm hanging up on you, Roxy. Okay. Bye. I I forgot to mention that uh, that telephone call by Roxy was brought to you by uh, AmuseU.net, where you can find amusing things that are amusing. Hello. Bye. We're we're ending the show because nobody's calling in, and we're. Frankly, we're just bored, and I think this is going to be the last show ever. Screw all this. I'm quitting. Hooray. Linear is going to quit. I, I wanted to quit since we started in March. I quit. Spessa, I'm pretty sure she's quit. We haven't, like, how long has it been since she's been in here? Like two months? Yeah. Just about. 
I promised Jammy she could co-host live because she's going to be here in June. But screw her. She can just host it live. Yeah, I'll just I'll just give it to her. <laughs> it's yours now. So tune in next week for Dammy on the phone show. Yeah. Yeah, like bye everyone for real. Show's over. See you bye. next week possibly if we feel like it still. I never